happy and he gets the news that he's going to get a little brother. Um, and he's not, uh, not, not too pleased that he's going to have to share the, the love. And If you sign up to be a superhero, the point is you have to fight other superheroes, right? Um, and as well as make friends and hold hands, you know, and, 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 and join ensembles, as it were. He's suspicious of him that he's uh, like, a little, like a little man who's got an agenda and running stuff. Uh, and he would like to expose him. To boys, when, I mean, they're not that old yet, do they get scared or do they know? No, my children, um, my, my son, um, one of them, like uh, my children, is uh, he's a very big uh, Venom fan, but he's also a very big Marvel fan altogether. And uh, my other child, uh, they are a massive, for whatever reason, Spider-Man fan, which is a, a <laughs> tremendous disappointment. But at the same time, that's what life is sometimes. <laughs> you present something to them and they're like, what do you think of this? And they, they prefer Spider-Man. Tom's a blast. He's been great, um, very easy to work with, but uh, I admire his creativity. He's really imaginative and, and funny, and I just think that he's found such a good tone for this movie. I mean, he's just like a nice dude, you know? I mean, we all went out to dinner. He's just like a fun, nice, really chill actor. There's so much power. Would that, would that tempt you to have that much power? No. I have it when I go to work, so, you know, I get to play with it. And uh, I mean, in, the, in this character, not in real, real life. But, um, so, but we still get to play and fantasize and see it come to life on, on a screen. And I think that's where it belongs. Uh, you, know, you can see the damage that it's cost and caused. <laughs> Tremendously. Yeah, too much, perhaps, yeah. That's his eyes. I mean, those eyes are so powerful. He doesn't really have to do much, you know? And whatever his own life experiences have, has given him, it's given him such a, a, like a darkness that he can tap into that, that, but also he can be really funny, too. So it, he has a, a wealth of whatever's inside of him, he has a wealth of. and that as soon as you look in his eyes, you, you feel it all. And like handle it in a childish way and then sometimes in a very adult way, he just embodied both, both things and so well. What really worked is the fact that it's not over sentimental cliche, even in the case of your character who's suffering from an extreme medical condition. It is, the tone is quite sober and I think that works very well. It makes it very relatable. Did you enjoy that aspect? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's one of the great things about Sam, because he's such a phenomenal writer. There's very little you ever want to change and that the character was much fully formed on the page, you know what I mean? Because this clearly has something happening to, to him that's not of this earth. Powers. There is an uncertainty there of what he's capable of. His um, powers get stronger. There's this juxtaposition of the dark and the light, mm -hmm. and somehow the way they intersect ends up being kind of a perfect mixture. Um, characters with a little bit more uh, diverse uh, characteristics and ethical question to be a questionable ethics as it were um, as opposed to bad um, and this the, this these two <laughs> have a have a, a large smorgasbord of, of options which are diverse when it comes to making choices so I enjoy that very much to have that responsibility and know that you have these powers and so I, I don't know you know what she, what she expects will happen to him but I think that it's not a shocker that he needs to be somewhere else. It's a funny movie. It's it's relatable and and it's relatable in in a real world way, but it's demonstrated through fantasy, through a really fun uh, idea. I mean, everyone's performance in this movie is really good, and that's the sign of a good movie. Where you're not like, God, he was amazing, or she was blew me away. It's like when something's good, you're just like, oh, this movie's so good, you know. And usually, not one performance stands out as like know the star and I feel like this movie is just it's a solid movie and everyone's great and everybody was talking about how much they enjoyed working with you how much do you enjoy it like a good game of sports to be surrounded by good actors because it does elevate the quality of acting altogether well, it, I love it I mean I, I really you know it's I, I think this is you know maybe one of the best jobs you could have uh, but when you get to have this job and you get to go in the, the ring, so to speak, with someone like 
I was impressed with Sans wanted to be a part of it and he could have written anything on that page and I would have wanted to be a part of it because I just admire him so much as a filmmaker. For Sam, he's very particular about his image of what's, you know, he has really a well-formed image of what he wants to do. And uh, so I just roll with that and trust. Aesthetic or what he's been inspired by and I think that he does it in a really original way. So, but it does harken back to those movies when I was little like, ooh, is this too scary for me to watch? But it's totally okay for me to watch. So it's, you can, as a kid, watch it, but also adults are getting a lot out of it too and are very moved. Um, I think working closely with Tobey Maguire, sharing ideas with him, finding truths about moments, Toby push, pulling me back a little when I would take, try and take something too far, and me recognizing, yeah, that more subtle approach will work better here. So learning from really, really good actors and the entire crew.